celebrating a hundred years of educational excellence, Marysville teachers remember. I started my career at Adrian College. I went there for four years. I was a music, vocal music major and a theater arts minor. And I ended up graduating in my theater arts program and secondary education, which is what my certification was for. I was the costume mistress for the theater department. And uh, that's what got me started. My mom is a seamstress and had a business in her home. And that was my first job. Between that and teaching private piano lessons, it just kind of spilled over into working for the college and doing the costumes. And that gave me a whole lot of confidence because I had a director who would draw a sketch and say, make this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, here's the fabric. Go. And there was no pattern. There was no there was nothing to go by. You just had a body and, and a sketch, and it went from there. So it gave me a lot of confidence, and uh, I think that spilled over when I started teaching. Right out of college, I came to Marysville. The first year, I said, do you do a musical? Oh, no, no, we don't, we don't do anything like that. And I said, well, now you do. <laughs> so the first musical that we did was Kiss Me, Kate. That was an interesting event because, well, we hadn't done a musical in Marysville, number one. Uh, number two, I literally went out into the hallway and when I saw a football player with a varsity jacket on, I went up and put my hand on their shoulder and said, you want to try out for the musical, don't you? Because <laughs> I figured if I could get the football players involved, I would have it made. And it worked. <laughs> a lot of them did end up in the show. So that's how it started. We tried to do a Rodgers and Hammerstein every other year, The King and I. And then uh, Little Abner kind of stuck to the classics. One year I taught, the first semester was theater tech. The second semester was acting. But it was the only time I got to teach that. They needed a plug-in at one point. Um, they didn't have something for that slot. So I did teach one year of that. I would have loved to have continued with that. It just didn't happen. Later in my career, when I was teaching at the intermediate school, someone else had taken over the high school musical, but I wanted to instill musical theater there, and I had an opportunity to teach a class in musical theater. And I did that for hmm, three or four years. Uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein had come out with what they call um, Broadway Junior, which were uh, kind of pre-canned uh, musicals based on the originals, but they were cut down and the scores were in a more doable vocal range. And we did Fiddler on the Roof, Guys and Dolls, King and I and Into the Woods with the junior high schoolers. And there were 40 kids and I made my daughter who was like a senior in high school at that time, she was my technical director. And uh, we had a ball with that. And I remember the first time that uh, John Cezanne, who was the principal at the junior high school at the time, he came to our performance of Fiddler on the Roof. and. When he, le he left and he was talking to me in the lobby, he said, I had no idea it was gonna be a full blown musical. He said, I thought we were just gonna do a couple of vocal numbers and you know, maybe some props. He said, it was a whole play. And I, yeah, yeah, it was. Scenery and sets and costumes and the whole nine yards. And a lot of those kids went on to do musicals at the high school and community theater. And when I was, in high school myself. I went to Southgate High School, which is now Southgate Anderson. We had a large auditorium, which was not the case with a lot of the schools in the area. And so Kennedy High School would rent our auditorium. The gentleman who came was president of the International Thespian Regional 
theater here in Michigan. And we talked a lot and uh, backstage. And when I started at Marysville High School, I wondered if he was still around, if he was still active, whatever. And uh, I looked him up and found out that he was still the president of the regional area. And I said, well, how do we get started? And he was the one that fostered us. We formed the original group. Uh, Bev Butler, now Davis, was my co-sponsor for that. And we had a troupe of about, oh, about 20 students that were active for quite a while. Retired in 2006. My mother was quite elderly at the time, and I really needed to spend more time with her. I have an opportunity to retire, and they had an incentive, uh, and there were a whole bunch of, there were a dozen of us that retired that year, so um, I'm glad I did, because I got to spend some quality time with my mom and, and my kids. I was a single parent for many years, and my kids and I are real close, so it worked out well. Marysville schools in, in general, I, I, it was a great place to work and my students were fantastic. In fact, I'm still friends with a lot of my former students, which says something about them and me, I guess. It was a nice school system. It was big enough that you enjoyed it, but it was small enough that it didn't get overwhelming. You know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of sense of community in the school district. I made a lot of friends. It was a great place to work.